Morocco manager issues Safi and Amrabat update after Manchester United confirm injury and boost to Ten Hag. Morocco head coach Walid Regragui insists Safi and Amrabat's withdrawal from the squad was precautionary after the Manchester United midfielder felt something. Amrabat had been named in the Morocco squad for their Africa Cup of Nations qualifying matches against Liberia and Burkina Faso. However, amid reports of the midfielder's injury, United confirmed on Friday evening that he had suffered an injury. In a statement published on United's website, the club confirmed that Amrabat would return to Carrington for assessment and treatment. There was no detail regarding the nature of the injury or prognosis, in line with the recent approach by the club not to go into detail regarding injuries. That approach has done little to suppress concern regarding Amrabat's injury. But speaking ahead of his side's game against Liberia, Regragui insisted it was a precautionary decision. Safi and Amrabat felt something, the Morocco boss said. We let him go as a precaution because he has just started his new adventure with Manchester United. Amrabat is expected back at Carrington, where he will be assessed by club staff and a clearer picture will be obtained regarding the injury. The 26-year-old is yet to feature for United after signing on loan from Fiorentina on deadline day, but was hoped to be available for next weekend's game against Brighton. Morocco was struck by a strong earthquake of magnitude 6.8 overnight, leaving at least 800 people dead, according to the country's interior ministry. Amrabet sent a message of prayer to those affected on his social media. It is unclear whether the nation's football team will go ahead with their matches. In other news, Sancho and Ten Hag direct contact claim made as Ferdinand reveals Man United boss Masterplan. Manchester United winger Jadon Sancho is expected to have direct contact with Eric Ten Hag soon, according to Fabrizio. Romano. Sancho came off the bench in the Red Devils' first three matches of the new Premier League season, but he was left out of the squad completely for their 3-1 loss to Arsenal last weekend. Manut boss Ten Hag revealed that it was Sancho's poor performance in training that convinced him to drop the England international from his squad. Ten Hag explained his decision to reporters after the defeat to the Gunners, Jadon, on his performances in training we did not select him. You have to reach a level every day at Manchester United and we can make choices in the front line. So for this game he was not selected. But Sancho couldn't help but respond in a statement on social media. It read, Please don't believe everything you read. I will not allow people saying things that is completely untrue. I have conducted myself in training very well this week. I believe there are other reasons for this matter that I won't go into. I'll have been a scapegoat for a long time which isn't fair. All I want to do is play football with a smile on my face and contribute to my team. I respect all decisions that are made by the coaching staff. I play with fantastic players and grateful to do so which I know every week is a challenge. I will continue to fight for this badge no matter what. There has been speculation that Sancho is currently refusing to meet up with Ten Hag and resolve the situation but Romano insists he is expecting direct contact between the Manut pair soon. Romano wrote in his caught offside column, Despite rumors to the contrary, I'm not aware of any refusal on Jadon Sancho's part to meet up with Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag. I'm told the player is expected to have direct contact with Ten Hag and the club's coaching staff soon to discuss his situation, so we'll wait for that moment and we will see where they go from there. But the situation remains the same. Manut legend Rio Ferdinand thinks Ten Hag was hoping for a reaction from Sancho when he publicly called him out last weekend. When asked how he felt about Ten Hag's public comments on Sancho, Ferdinand said on TNT Sports, The biggest thing for me is understanding why he said that. What I can draw from it is that he gave him a couple months off last season, for personal reasons, to get himself fit. He's given him minutes, I think he started around 20 games last season, and he's working out a way how he can trigger something from Jadon to get a positive reaction on the pitch. He's tried different ways and I think this is him trying to get a reaction out of his player. All managers do it differently. I was surprised. You don't normally see players respond through statements publicly like that at all. What's the way back for Sancho? There's going to have to be a conversation between the manager and player. They've both spoken publicly, and if one of them doesn't like it or not, they've both done it. And now it's about what's the best thing for Manchester United. They need to decide that and have an open and honest conversation around a table and get through it. I think Ten Hag wants to get Sancho performing for Manchester United. He'll hope the reaction comes from that statement. And so do I Ten Hag has been ruthless in his decision making before. You look at the different scenarios he's faced such as Marcus Rashford being late to a meeting. He called it out, made him a substitute and got a reaction. 
the Cristiano Ronaldo situation. He dealt with it and the team got to where he wanted them to. He achieved that. He's dealt with these big situations head on and hopefully there is a positive outcome from this. If you enjoyed the video make sure to smash the like button and make sure to subscribe to Man United Hub to get all the latest updates.